Welcome back to video game. Okay, I'm just kidding. Hey, welcome back to Undertale. I'm here. Okay, last time I played, I cut myself out, dying to whatever he is. The fucking dog. This is a dog. This is a dog, guy. That was good, great. Or... Oh my god, no. Oh. Okay, now I'm just gonna ignore right off the bat. Okay, so I'm gonna ignore you inches closer. That was. Alright, I, I did it. Hey, I did it. And then he ran away. This is when Papyrus is like, You gotta get this safe! This is a super ultra weapon! Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror! <coughs> yeah, it's pretty good. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the teeniest of chance will remain a victory. Fuck. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. That uh doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are fair and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. I'm turning. Uh, phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Okay. Near. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Uh, okay. Don't know what my brother's gonna do now. I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Yeah. I do. Welcome to Snowden. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Hello, traveler. Hello. Hi, uh, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? Capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You wanna know what to do here on Snowden? Grillbees has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the end. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Your life. Life is the same as usual, a little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming don't we? As long as you got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Go into here. Fast travel down the city. Do you want to RP? <laughs> I don't know why I find that voice so stupid. Look, it's so dumb. Okay, now let's go uh, do the papyrus thingy. Did you know if you, I, I found this art the first time? Uh, if you die to papyrus enough, you don't have to fight him anymore. It, it, that's how I figured out that. Because I, I, I suck. I suck. Sook is dead. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another past a lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. Those feelings, they must be what you're feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it means to be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't even wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, I shall be... You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be yours. No. 
No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. Yeah, that's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Yeah, that's pretty good. What? The flirting? You finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Are you Oh no, you're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later. <laughs> oh no, let's date later. <laughs> she likes to say nyeh heh heh. Fuck, goddammit. Paris tabs. <laughs> Some bone cologne behind. <laughs> You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting on a squid's battle. Let's date later. Flirt. Let's date later. What the fuck do I do then? Do I have to insult him? my fault. I told you before that I would make you spaghetti. It's only natural you would want to see me in the dire hope that I would make you some. Well, I understand now. Papyrus is hungry too. Hungry for justice. Why would you do this? This is what Martin Luther King died for. <laughs> You're back again? I finally realized the true reason why you just miss seeing my face so much. I'm not sure why I can fight someone who feels like it. But mostly I'm getting really tired of capturing you. No. Okay, I guess I'll accept my failure. New hoo hoo. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Unkind's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard. And my friend, Quantity, will remain stagnant. Really? You want to be friends? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make puzzles was to give people offer puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you pa to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern, then, when you leave, reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul, like you! That's where the king wants to acquire a human soul. He wants to open the barrier with soul power, then the monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the gate, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king is uh, of all monsters. He is, well, he is a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Nee he I fucking love this character. But I feel like I'm most like Monster Kid because I'm clumsy and I'm socially retarded. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place like I like to spend a lot of time. He, I love this part. Because he's just like, oh, yeah, bring it over here. And then I'll bring them back. Near my house. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Is that a sex joke? Because I hope it's a sex joke. <laughs> so, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Yes. Okay, dating start. Here we are on a date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating hub. Wow, I feel so informed. I think we're ready to have... S for step two. Step two. Ask them on a, a date. Ahem. Human. I ate a great papyrus. We'll go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second, wear clothing. That 
bandage hanging off you. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Yes. No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. <laughs> this is so dumb. Yeah. Heh <laughs> heh. Don't think you've bested me yet. You're the good papyrus have never been beating at dating and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case someone happens to ask me on a date. Behold. Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret, but that won't happen. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing artifacts can be proved this way. My hat? My hat. My hat. Near hair hair. Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j just for you. Spaghetti. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This is... This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, friendly Asian and oak and cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus, human. It's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must be really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! <coughs> Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here. Or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry, I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean... I mean, I tried very hard to, but I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me, but alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just as the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! No, wait, that's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human, I'll help you through these trying times, I'll keep being your cool friend, and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It'd be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you, because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for your second best. Yeah. <laughs> And if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. It's funny because he's implying he's the greatest papyrus because he's f f huh. There's a door behind him. I've always wondered what that is. What? Have you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? I'm busy. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to go Grillby. It's going to be Undyne. The Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report uh, regarding that human I caught you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you, you don't have to destroy them, you see. You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. <laughs> Yo, did did you see the way she was staring at you? That that was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. 
A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. I love Monster Kid. I feel like I'm most like Monster Kid. Cause I- yeah, I said this earlier, but um, cause I'm socially retarded and awkward. Oops, a crack there. Um. Flee. I don't wanna. I don't wanna! Okay, I got that puzzle done. Um. Now, yeah, Papyrus calls. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a gross bandage. Is that true? Are you wearing a gross bandage? Yeah. So, you are wearing a gross bandage. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. <sighs> Washua shuffles up. Clean. Green means clean. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. It just says like, oh, press here. <laughs> this is good. Oh. How the shit did I dodge that? Oh no, I'm gonna die! Whoa, 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 whoa. And then, bam, but it. Oh, what a twist! Yo, that was awesome! Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me! I'm never washing my face again! Man, are you unlucky. If you were just staying just a little bit to the left... Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Knowing the mouse one m might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal fills you with determination. Yes. It very much does. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G. Jesus Premium Telescope. 50,000 gold? Holy fuck. I have better things to do than your shit. There's Gerson. Or no, this isn't Gerson. What the fuck is this from? Oh, it's the nice cream guy. I, I relocated my store, but there's still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back again. Ice cream is the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Super, here's... Here you go, your card's in the box. And the fuck, where's the punch card? Oh yeah, my punch card- Your punch card's in the box! Am I fucking stupid? The box contains one card, take a card, yeah. You got a punch card! PUNCH CARD! PUNCH! Item... Yeah, see? Oh, fuck! Fuck, I fucked the game! God damn it, I did the stupid glitch! Well, that's the end of this episode, fuck me!